welcome back to a digital master online so first of all thank you very much from the heart again for supporting the channel um i'm really happy that you guys are watching my videos liking the videos and even subscribing it's i'm i'm really happy thank you very much again from my heart for your supporting the channel i really appreciate that and i'm really glad about that i just hope you guys like if you have ideas or something or notice about the video just tell me down in the comments or tell me on the discord i'm gonna put my discord down there so i can just when you have something you want to say about the video or something just write it down in the comments or if you have a notice or you have like something you didn't like about the video just tell me as well and i'm gonna change it i'm gonna edit the videos and do the stuff again so today as i said in previous video we're gonna talk about demo equipment all right demo equipment are easy to get as a starter as i said as a starter not always so as a starter when you start the game you're gonna receive a package you're gonna receive a package actually that package is um, you're gonna receive with it a hat shirt or a hoodie pants gloves and headphones as I remember and uh, shoe shoe and headphones alright so those items are or those clothes are for 30 days only yeah you're gonna receive it for 30 days so don't mind about that but after 30 days, what's gonna happen after 30 days? Yeah, like you say, I started the game, I have 30 days of process, okay, it's fine. It's not that big deal. Well, I have to say that it is a big deal, actually. <laughs> because the clothes are something important in Digimon Master Online, as well as, like, anything else is important in this game. But clothes are really important as well. Um, so if you clicked on C, uh, press C on your keyboard, you're gonna see your Tamer information table or your Tamer information menu. Here you're gonna, here on the left side, you're gonna see your Tamer clauses. Here is a custom, here's something else. Uh, here are the accessories that your Tamer have. As you can see, there's the earrings, necklaces, bracelet, and uh, ring. Here is Digivice slot, uh, sorry, here is uh, the Digi Aura slot, and here are, here are the Digivice slots. Here is the ID card that we previously saw before on some dude in previous videos. You just use this, so it's just to put your name in frame and just give you 106 p more. Yeah, GG. Alright, um, now we have closes. Okay, so the closes times is already gone so uh, back here I have already uh, the, the, the hat I can't use it anymore as you can see here it's written in red XP 100% increase this means that even if I have this hat or not I'm not gonna be able to use its uh, buff so that's mean even if I kill Digimon and stuff like that I want to receive 100% XP more Okay, so maybe say it's uh, I don't care it's just 100 XP more but other clothes and other stuff other clothes has a, has something else actually like uh, you have for example the shirt it's gonna give you 55 percent for the attributes that's mean as you can see here it's in green that's mean like for now I have 269 for HP and you're gonna see here it's written 490 and then with 55% that means I'm gonna receive more HP not just 296 uh, 69 sorry I'm gonna receive more and you're gonna see for example the shirt as well I'm gonna receive by the way this is old shirt they just give it that was pretty good thing to do actually because if they remove it we're gonna be <laughs> we're gonna be really disappointed and that's gonna be really bad and um, yeah that's why when you close this time ran out you have to find new closes or you have to charge them with the battery so 
you want to charge them with the battery so you have to you have to buy the battery from other players actually it's not called a battery but it's it seems like a battery <laughs> i don't know why do i call it a battery but it's not it's a rechargeable energy so but it's i don't know it sounds like a car battery something so i just stick the battery name so whatever this is a rechargeable battery you use it to recharge um, items that already quit for example like this one you can see right now it's written with, without anything but as you can see limit uh, the time is not written in there but if you in here you're gonna see the time is already written it's a quit that means it doesn't have any more effects on the table or in digimon so you have to buy a battery and recharge it or if you don't want to waste money or you don't want to buy with expensive player and keep on buying stuff keep on wasting your megas so you have here another option for you available it's catamon so if you press m on your keyboard and click on npc get down to the closest shop just click on it and the navigation kind of tells you where is he so by the way there's two catamon so just be careful not to click on the one because there's a Gatamon over here and there is a Gatamon over there. So in the both sides, if you just really didn't know which one you have to go to, it's pretty easy. You're gonna come from inside, you're gonna come from here, so keep on going straight ahead and you're gonna find it in here. It's pretty, it's, it's so easy to find. It's, it's here. Okay. So click on Gatamon, let's talk to Gatamon. So Gatamon, as you can see, is he has a closest the normal one. It's not uh, like the strongest one, but it's pretty good actually. It's not that bad, but this one's fine. Uh, so you can buy like closest for one mega each. So one mega each is really not that much expensive. It's really kind of affordable as you start and you play it for 30 days, so you can have enough money to buy clothes again. But you won't be able to get a gloves and you won't be able to get shoes again, so this is gonna be a problem actually. So, for the shoes, you have to buy them from other players or you have to try your luck scanning. Or if they didn't remove it yet, I'm going right now so fast and check one of the maps that is one of my favorite maps on Digimon Master Online and I'm gonna see if the NPC is still selling that or not so okay before that let's see here those are rare customs those are cash shop, cash shop items that's for seven days and you can buy them as you can see with megas as well if you want to here are the gloves and here are the shoes here are the attributes. So I'm gonna talk about the attributes later. And right now we're gonna focus about clothes and digi digi uh, uh, joggers chips and digi oro. So before I um, keep on going with clothes, I want to go and check really quick to see if the shoes still there. If the NPC which sells you the shoes is still there. So here we are, one of my favorite maps in Digimon Master Online. I don't know why, but this map is remind me of Season 3 Tamers as well as the other maps that we played before. Or did they remove it? Okay, they removed it. She doesn't have them anymore. Usually you can you can come you can come to here and buy from her. That was or they removed it from me. All right, so yeah, that's what's bad. <laughs> All right, so we didn't lose anything. We just used one jump poster. No problem. We can go back to that center and we can keep on going. So right now we get closes as a starter. What next? Before we jump to the next stuff, you're gonna get uh, as a starter. So. I want to say as well there is there's a closes in here and there's a customs as well. So you can see if you come to Catamon here and you went to Tamer Equipment, here you're gonna see there's a customs. So those customs are 
each custom has its own thing actually so for example by the way don't mix the customs that you buy for another table so for example if I buy this custom for uh, what was his name Marcos I won't be able to use it in Hikari or on Taiji but those one as you can see those one you can use them in every tamer you can use them in TK or in Sora and Hikari you can use them in any team or Tai Chi so you can use them on them and there is um, another type of clothes so those clothes are normal one you're gonna see those clothes are normal ones so the buffs that you're gonna get from them like 50% speed friendliness uh, 20 increase and XP 100% so I mentioned before the friendship stats for the Digimon, I'm gonna tag that there somewhere on the screen, you're gonna see it. I already mentioned that before about the friendship stats. So you gonna guys know what I mean with the friendship stats. And we have the Tamer equipment here. You have like for example Zelda costume, you have yellow one, red one. As you can see if you just hover over you're gonna see. For example this one gonna give us 77% speed XP 200% attack 600 so the best one as I know as far is the, the wind is 600 so it depends actually what are you gonna do for example if you want to level up your Digimon I recommend you to get the, the yellow one if you want to support the Digimon with HP get the orange one because it can give you 1000 more HP if you want one just to run fast you can just you can get uh, the yellow one or you can come here and you can get the slim one the school one if you want to be damaging damage on the dungeon you can use Santa costume or you can use the red one so it actually depends on what you want to do and these are the clothes if you came here to the season one as well uh, season the season you can see here there's a black one it's gonna give you 400 xp uh, sorry 400 attack 300 hit rate and 7% critical health so this is pretty good as well and for normal clothes we have here the the cola one they are for 30 days as well I didn't use them because I really don't need to but I'm, I'm still good with my clothes I don't know actually what does they give so as you can see there is here uh, sunny glasses as well it's gonna gives you XP 100% tamer attack 200% actually tamer attack is not that much important as your Digimon is so as you can see here is a black formal dress you're gonna receive XP 1000 tamer DS 1000 movement speed 77 so it's kind of not that bad as well all right so we talked about clothes and there's the dungeon clothes as well dungeon clothes uh, dungeon clothes uh, you can receive them from doing dungeons the normal one or hard one but you have to keep on doing the dungeon and keep on going in and going in until you receive until you're gonna receive it in your inventory all right so that's our dungeon clothes as well right now we're gonna talk about Digi Aura and I'm gonna talk about Digivice and the Joker's chip. Alright, so first of all, if you can do the colo or someone carried you on the colo and helped you do the colo, you're gonna receive a points. So if you put the points in here, and then you're gonna wait for the cooldown or for the timer. So when the timer is done, you're gonna see here how many coins you're gonna receive. You're gonna come here to Gatamon, you can receive the coins, come to Gatamon for the weekly or season or anything. And then you're gonna go down with Tamer equipment for Jogres or Digi Auras. Or if you can do that, because it's pretty hard sometimes, uh, and no one can carry you, you don't have anyone to carry you, uh, you can just ask around, for example, I'm, I want to do Colo, anyone can help me with shouts. Or you can ask your guild mates if they can help you to do that. If they can't, then that's gonna be a little bit bad. But the Digi Aura is just for keeping your Digimon in the evolution and not letting him back to the Rocky. 
so you can just skip the digi aura and keep on using food to restore your digimon hp and ds and your tamer digimon and your tamer hp and ds but the most important thing is the jobless okay. without a jobless chip you won't be able to use a jobless digimon that's a big problem all right so jobless chips uh, before i start uh, talking about jobless chip um, I'm gonna test you guys here. We're gonna see. We have a joke chip and uh, Digi Aura. So as you can see, they are almost the same, but uh, Joker chips has something a little bit more different from Digimon Aura or Digi Aura. So as you can see, there's a disposable one. There's a three hours, one day, fifteen days, thirty days, sixty days, special Halloween thirty days and sixty. And special Christmas 30 and 60 and we have the Xero one as well meanwhile we have the Digi Aura one we have three hours one day 15 days 30 days special Halloween 30 and 60 special Christmas 30 and 60 so as you can see here I am um, as I write down here next where you can get them uh, for example the disposable one you can get them from Calumon after you like after achieving the first time evolution or the first time jogress evolution you're gonna come to Kalimon and talk to him so he can give you the better items so you can go jogress um, I have to say something the jogress before was like for example for Alphamon or Yuken or Examon or Megamon they are all like free to get like the alpha and the beta one but the new jobless is we have right now for example alter is um, zwarty and those new digimons they have actually the beta one the better thing for the jobless is you have to only buy from players or cash shops or you have to try your luck with loot boxes so this is the problem right now we have but before you can receive can receive it for free so we're not gonna talk about that way too longer because it's gonna never end so we're gonna talk about the things right now uh, for example one day and one day and three hours you can get those from sometimes from events there's like events from the event menu if you press E on your keyboard you're gonna see there's an, an, uh, an event so this event has, for example, if you wait for a certain time, you're gonna receive, for example, the package. It's not a package; it's a box for three hours or sometimes for one day. Right now, we don't have this this event right now, but sometimes they put this event. So for the Digi Aura, as well, the three hours and one day, it's from event. Fifteen day, thirty days and you have special Halloween 30 and 60 special uh, Christmas 30 and 60 so I'm gonna go back a little bit to up because they are the same you can get some stuff from the same place so yeah you have as well as a digi aura for three hours and one day uh, you can receive them from the event as well so digi aura and joker ships 15 and 30 days and 60 days you can receive those actually uh, from the cash shop, but from 60 days, I uh, for 60 days, sometimes from even and sometimes from cash shop. So yeah, but most of the time, you can you can buy from the cash shop 15 and 30 days. 60 days are not always in the cash shop, and there are events as well. From doing a certain event, when you have, for example. Uh, I remember they did the event last year or the year before where you can actually receive 60 days PG Aura and 60 days uh, Joker's Chip and for the special Halloween 30 and 60 and special Christmas 30 and 60 as I said it's from names you're gonna know the special Halloween one it's an Halloween event only when the Halloween comes then you can receive it in the Halloween as well as the Digi Aura from 30 and 60 and we have a very very special one it's called the permanent Jogress chip and permanent Digi Aura so those items are so 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 hard to get that you need pretty way too much luck 
and an event in there so those are really hard to get sometimes you can get them sometimes not always on the rare machine but rare machine sometimes doesn't have those items so when they when you see like there's a permanent on the rare machine it's written for example joggers jet permanent on the rare machine when you use your, your rare coin in the village of the beginning in file island and if you if you have a super luck and put that put your coins in there and you use it you can receive a permanent one this means you don't have to change the joggle ship or you don't have to change your digi origin those are the stuff okay so now we're gonna talk about the device so here we are again with the digivices so when you start playing digimon master online you can receive a normal old orange digivice that is almost kind of not that bad but yeah it's 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 really not not good compared to another digivices that you have in the game but for starter one it's pretty good so the christmas uh, so sorry so the normal one the orange digivice it has only two uh, slots for the for the chips in here it only has two slots talking about the arc and blue digivice the arc blue digivice and the adventure one they have three digi uh, three chip slots but but be careful uh, the digivice of the beginning it's it's on level zero as you can see so it has only three slots so when it's reached through the device, you can have around four slots up to five slots for uh, for your uh, uh, chips. As I remember, I don't, I didn't have the true device before. But as 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 I asked around players and as as uh, as I asked around friends, my guildmates, they told me like, yeah, you can maybe have up to five or six chip slots and true device. And we have the purple digivice, and that is you're gonna have four chip slots. So I have to say right now, where we can get those digivices? So the blue digivice you can get it from Datamon Maze on File Island Server Continent Pyramid. So if you came here, actually the Server Continent Pyramid. So you came to Digivolve and Server Continent, you're gonna see here. Pyramid, and then you can have here the Datamon maze. So Datamon maze here. If you did a couple of hard dungeons, hard running. I mean, not a normal one, and the hero mode. Like when you go there, you can see there's a normal and there's a hero. If you did the hero for a couple times and scanned many boxes as you can, and never get tired from keep on doing that over and over, over and over, and keep wasting your uh, uh, what I say, your De your datamon maze entrance cards and keep on farming those cards on pyramid and keep on going in there so, and you got lucky you're gonna receive or you can have the blue digivice i don't know if they removed it yet or if it's still there but usually you can get it from there okay and what about the d-arc digivice okay d-arc digivice this is an only event digivice that's from the cash shop I actually I bought it from player for like two teras. He was selling it and he was dying to selling it, so I said, okay, I'm gonna buy it for two teras. It's not, it's not that bad the device. I had it blue the device and then I moved to the arc the device because they are the same I know, but the arc the device is kind of cooler. Actually, it's from season three tamers, and I really like when they do that card slash and. Yeah, evolution for the for the Digimon or give him buffs. It was pretty cool. So I, I wanted that the Arc Digivice. <laughs> All right, and then uh, the purple Digivice is from Thunder Dungeon or as they said QDG Dungeon. It's so hard to do actually. The Digimons are there are really strong. I don't want to go deeper with dungeons. I'm gonna keep a special episode for dungeons and about the dungeons and Digimon. I'm gonna explain about dungeons more in later if videos. Right now, I'm gonna talk about the normal digivice in here. The adventure, adventure digivice. Adventure digivice, you can receive it. I received it actually 
couple months ago as I met uh, when I first came back to Digimon Master Online after I was away from the game. It was I think in the first episode or the second episode when I came there and I did the quests in Minato City and then I received this Digivice from Taichi, the NPC. You can receive it for free but you have to do many quests up to there. The only issue was Digimon there are strong, this is a normal one, this is the first one, the second one I think the map is bugged because as you saw in, in the video that's one hit and like 50 or 60 thousand of your HP is gone for no reason so I don't know why even your Digimon is buffed in there so it's pretty hard to do there and I think that's a bug as well and the issue as well is the raids the raids really take good time to spawn so it's gonna be a real problem in there so before I go, I have just to say something about the Xeros chips and the normal Jogos chips. Xeros chips are only for Xeros Digimon. If you watch that, uh, oh, okay, I used the skill by mistake. <laughs> so if you used, uh, sorry, if you watched as uh, Xeros Digimon series, it just for Xeros Digimon. Right now we have only uh, three Digimons. As I know, I didn't watch the season actually, but I watch one first episode of it so we just have three Xeros Digimons in here so those are can able to digilove to um, I don't know what was his name uh, but in order to do that you need a Digimon uh, as you can see it's disposable those you can get it from our friend Calamon over there he can give you those stuff daily you can just go to talk to him and he's gonna give it to you for every day he's gonna give you like 10 every day those are you can't use the digimon x heroes chips in order to, to digilove normal jogos digimon and you can do use normal jogos digimon chips to in order to digilove the xero digimon so this was episode for today i hope you guys enjoyed it and i really hope that i covered everything about the stuff that I was talking about today in this episode I hope you guys you enjoyed that and please don't forget to like share and subscribe and see you next time